Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating how to create a wire armature for a dog sculpture. If you would like to grow as an artist and you can't afford an art class, we've got everything you need here at Art Prof, critiques, tutorials, and professional development. If people are wondering, the link to the reference photos is in the YouTube video description below. And if you would like information about the supplies, I know people are already asking about armature wire. That is always also in the YouTube video description below. So I'm going to demonstrate how to design an armature, and then we're going to make it. <clears throat> and actually, it's the design part that is the most difficult because you have to have a plan <laughs> once you start cutting your wire it becomes a whole thing so i'm going to show you these are two armatures that i use for figures and we're going to do something somewhat similar with my dog buddy well it's my kid's dog really and you'll see this is the first iteration. And, and this is one continuous piece of wire. The key thing about armatures, you want to cut your wire as little as possible. Because once you cut your wire, you lose the tension of the wire. And you have to really do a lot of work to get another piece to stick to this. Now, it's not to say that you can't. It's just anywhere you don't have to cut is a win with an armature. Okay, so this is one continuous piece. And then this one, this one has one piece of wire that goes through the shoulders and the two arms. And if you look up close, there's very thin wire up here that I wrapped around the arms to make sure that the arms can stay in place. And it's very tightly wrapped up here. And then does everybody see I wrapped it down into the rib cage? Because if I just cut it here, it's not going to be as stable. So with an armature, you do a lot of wrapping with wire. Like up here, this is wrapped in the torso. This is wrapped. And what's tricky about the wrapping is you have to do it very tight because if your wrapping is even a little bit loose, it can cause structural problems. And the whole goal with an armature is to have a structure that is really solid, no wiggling. If you make an armature and it wiggles, it's only gonna get worse because once you start adding clay and everything, it becomes a horrible mess and you have to do open heart surgery on your sculpture and it's really not fun. Tell me in the chat, who here has made an armature before? And what was that experience like? Because armatures are tricky. And I've made armatures for figures that are four feet tall. And, and so this feels nice and manageable <laughs> by comparison. Okay. Before I do a sketch, I like to take the wood this is going to look really weird, but I, I do this with my hands. I try to say, okay, I want him about, because he has to fit his four legs here. So maybe the bulk. What I'm trying to look at is this front form. Because the hind legs, that's a whole other thing. And then here, there's not as much form. So really, it's this shape that I'm trying to get. And you don't want the armature to be too big. That's another problem. If it's too big, then you have to go in and cut and it's a big pain. So you're approximating how big, but you're also making it a little smaller because you have to leave room for the clay. And yes, there will be part two to do the clay. Okay, so I'm gonna guess about that big. Okay, so I have, this is floral foam. 
can get this at Michael's or any craft store. And it's really nice because it doesn't leave any crap behind. And it's very easy to cut. So I just take a utility knife. I'm just approximating again with my hand. I'm just gonna cut it here for now. Sorry, for those of you who don't like styrofoam, you might wanna turn off the sound for a little bit because I know it's very irritating for some people, the sound of styrofoam. Okay, now that's definitely way too big. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna round off the corners because that's super obvious. I can't have these corners in place and we'll go from there. Armatures are tricky. And I looked on YouTube because every time I do a video, I always see what's out there, what people have already done on YouTube. And yeah. <laughs> okay, I gotta round off these sides. So let's just cut away from yourself. Don't cut towards yourself. So you can see, so easy to cut. That's why I like this foam. If you have done an armature before, tell me what supplies you used. Because I know a lot of the YouTube videos that I looked at, people were using aluminum foil. And I think aluminum foil, it's fine for a small sculpture. But for anything that's bigger than about this, you have to go with armature wire. So I know people were saying in the chat, a lot of you have not heard of armature wire before. And the thing about armature wire, this I think is a quarter, quarter of an inch thick? No, that's gotta be wrong. Okay, well, I know this one, this is the softest gauge wire that they make. And this one is a 16th of an inch. I think this one is an eighth of an inch, maybe. But then I also have, <clears throat> look at this, <laughs> this gigantic spool of wire, this thing here. So yes, I have a lot of this. And I think this one is three eighths of an inch. They make armature wire that's half an inch. That, that's so super wide. You can't even use pliers with it. You have to use a vise because the pliers are not strong enough. But that's for really big sculptures. That's if you're doing a five foot tall figure sculpture. And that's very involved. And I made a bunch of those when I was in graduate school. And oh my gosh, it's so much work. All right, let's carve this some more. Again, if you don't like styrofoam, turn off the volume. Really what I'm trying to get is, I guess a potato shape. <laughs> Guinea pig, potato shape. I'm just looking at, okay, what are the corners that are the most pronounced? And by the way, I will get to the chat. I just can't do it while I'm working. So if you have questions, you have comments, drop them into the chat. And every now and then I'll take a break and I'll go through and read your questions and comments. Yeah, that's pretty much a potato. Round off these corners. Okay. 
might be okay. It might be a little bit big. I might want to just shave it down so that the scale is a little bit smaller because I have to remind myself when I put this into the armature, I have to put wire around it. And so therefore, <clears throat> this has to be smaller, even smaller. So let's just take another pass. There is a very famous professor at RISD, Merlin Saws. I think he passed away maybe 15, 10 years ago. But he used to do this wonderful styrofoam sculpture project. And I remember as a freshman, I was so envious of the people who were in that class. But they're not really teaching that stuff now. When I went to RISD as a freshman, it was all hammers and screwdrivers and really manual construction of things, really material-based, and now it's not like that anymore. Which is a bummer because those were amazing experiences. And I do think most younger people, probably now their first engagement with art is more likely to be on an iPad than it is on a traditional sketchbook, which is nuts to me because I didn't grow up with digital painting, it didn't exist. So I think it's common for people, they have tons of digital media experience, but then they haven't really spent time with a paper and pencil. So tell me in the chat, who here, what was your first media that you used for art? For me, it was sketchbook and pencil. I mean, there were no iPads, I couldn't do that. Okay, let's see. And again, I'm, I'm using my fingers to figure that out. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty good. I think that's gonna work. It does, you can see, it does get quite a bit of dust. So you probably need to wipe down your hands. I'm just gonna grab my trash can and get that stuff off my hands. Okay, let's see what people are saying in the chat. Karasu says, what wire is best for creating armature for stop motion animation? It depends on your stop motion animation. Everybody does it differently. But the thing about this armature wire, it just makes your life so easy. And you know something? It's not that much more expensive than armature, not armature, just plain wire that you would get at a hardware store. And so I don't know the exact differences in terms of price, but... If you've used anything other than armature wire, you're missing out. Because the thing about the armature wire, it's super malleable. You can really get it to twist and turn. That other wire that you got at the hardware store, it will not do that. And you need that malleability for your armature to work. Nacho says, haven't made an armature, but I've done a wire sculpture. Oh yeah, wire is so much fun to play with. I mean, you don't have to use wire for armature at all. So I'm so glad you brought that up. Ginger says, I feel like I'm not doing it right. I've tried multiple times and it just doesn't work. You really do need guidance for this. I would never <clears throat> advise anybody to just make an armature on the fly with no experience. It's impossible. <laughs> you just can't. It's nothing to do with you. It's just if you don't have the hard skills, it's not going to work out very well. 
Amanda says, I did the first time I ever attempted sculpting. It was after watching one of your tutorials. It was amazing. I was shocked at how well I did. <laughs> That's terrific, Amanda. I'm so glad to hear that. Yes, we do have a tutorial on how to do a figure armature and another one how to do an armature for a head. So this really good question from Karen, what gauge? Now, this, this is where things are very tricky and you do need some experience to be able to figure that out. Okay, so this is, I'm going to guess an eighth of an inch. Okay, so this is a armature that's, I don't know, what, 10 inches tall. This is probably okay, although in retrospect, I do like the one that is three eighths of an inch better because that one is really solid. This is still fairly malleable, but again, if it's just this tall, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I get very paranoid about my armature where I'm like, oh my goodness, if it's not strong enough, what will happen? Because <laughs> I've seen it happen. I've seen people make armatures that were too flimsy and then things go really wrong in the sculpture phase. And so if you don't have a good armature, it's almost like you're screwed to begin with. But I do think it's better to err on the thicker armature because when I make armatures, I don't use my hands for the most part. I mean, I do a little bit, but if you're making an armature and you're only using your hands, that's a really bad idea. Your hands are gonna hurt so much and you're not going to be able to get the wire to behave the way you want it to. And so I always tell people to have needle nose pliers because this is the key to an armature. Most people don't use the needle nose pliers and that's what makes it really difficult. Katie's asking, is the floral styrofoam the soft kind or the hard kind? It's harder. It's not one of the ones where you can press your finger into it. So I try to get the harder floral foam, because there's no reason this has to be super soft. In fact, if you start putting clay over it, it's really soft. I can imagine that's not a great idea. Oh yeah, <laughs> certainly a balloon is great if you're doing paper mache. I did that all the time. We used to make paper mache pinatas. That was really fun. Lisa says, I use aluminum foil for blocky shapes to fill space. Otherwise, I run out of clay. Also helps on weight. Armature is great for posing. Yeah. And we'll talk about how to capture the pose. So you can see at the bottom, I'm going to use the one that's right underneath me. I think Buddy looks a little regal. <laughs> the one at the bottom, he's actually running around. I think that might be harder to sculpt in terms of reference photos. And if you don't know who Buddy is, he is our new dog. We got him in December from a shelter and we just adore him. So it's really fun to do a pet that you have. All right, let's talk about first materials, crayons, watercolors, vine charcoal, pencil, clay, crayons. How fun. Maritsaki says, is it good to use a wire frame and dress with paper to make like a paper lamp? I don't recommend paper if you're doing clay because clay, if it's air dry or ceramic or whatever, it does have moisture in it. And so if it makes the paper wet, that's not a good idea. Seven Angelic says, the one eighth feels so big, how is it for flex? This one, which is an eighth of an inch, this one's really easy. This is not difficult. I still need the pliers. This one, I don't need the pliers much. This is like super, super malleable. And then the big one that I had, that one you really need to use pliers. You, you cannot use your hands. It's too, too difficult. All right. Let's clean up a little bit. There's foam everywhere. I always wanted to do a foam sculpture project in class, but it's so absurdly messy that I just found all that dust is not good. Okay. 
So let's design. What I like to do is I draw what I think it should look like. So if we're starting with one piece of wire, so typically what I do is I have a long piece of wire and I turn it into a V shape, okay? So then the next step would be you take it and you do that. So this is the head. Now, because Buddy has a longer snout, I probably want it to look more like that. So this is for a human. This is for an animal. And then what you do is you then wrap. Wrap the two wires. Okay. Oh, I need a page that's not full. I'm just going to draw over these gestures. Okay. So let's pretend I have the head, I've wrapped it, and then I will make a body. Well, so typically on the human one, it's like this, but... This is so big. I can't just have two pieces of armature wire. So what I think I might do, let's say this is the head, you have the wrap and let's just draw the potato. So let's pretend that's the styrofoam. I, I'm thinking what I might wanna do is actually wrap it around like this. And then there'll be a second piece that can wrap around like that. So if everybody sees that up here, I can just twist it around the potato. And then what I'll do is I'll add little pieces of wire here to hold those in place. All right. And then they'll come back together. So they'll twist like that. And then I can do the legs and buddy has a very tall tail. So probably I'll wrap another sculpture wire here and then there'll be the tail. So hind legs. This is the head. And then I'll have a separate piece, do this in a different color. And these will be the front legs. So the, you can see the front legs, that's gonna be a separate piece, okay? But everything here, that is one piece. Oh, I suppose the tail is separate. So the tail is separate. So actually, this is only going to be three pieces of wire. One piece is the whole torso and the back legs. One piece is the tail. And another piece is the front legs. So that's pretty good. Only having that quantity. And you just have to make sure you really, really wrap the wire because it's that tight wrapping that keeps it very stable. Oh, thank you, Karen. I always forget that the US is the outlier in terms of measurements. It's very frustrating if you go to Europe and you're like, centimeters, kilometers? I don't understand. I think the US should get with the rest of the world so we don't have to deal with all the conversions. All right. I'm going to get the long wire. <clears throat> so this is the giant wire that I'm going to be using. And this is hard. You have to approximate how long 
you want this to be. And you don't want it to be too short because if you run out of wire, that is really bad. So I have to think about, okay, let's see. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to just bend it in half like this. I'm going to I don't think it's really long enough. It, it's always better for your wire to be too long rather than too short. Okay, so if we have the head, that's about the neck. And then the body is there. And then we twist. And then there's legs. I, I'm going to make it longer. I think that's too short. Because you can always cut it. <clears throat> but if you run out, it is such a massive pain. All right, let's try that again. So we'll say that's the head. That's the neck. Add the potato, but I'm going to wrap. So that should be a lot longer. And then I'm going to do it longer. I'm just paranoid. <laughs> because the other thing you have to account for is you have to nail it to a board. And to nail it to the board, it's got to go past the feet. Let's try this again. Okay, that's the head. That's the neck. Of the potato, we have the pelvis, back legs. Okay, that's pretty good. I really hope I am right about this. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so this is, I think, three eighths of an inch. All right, so does everybody see? This is already curvy and I don't like that. I want it to be nice and straight. So what I'm gonna do is I take the needle nose pliers to straighten this out because I don't want it to be so curved there. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, so that's pretty good. All right, so for the snout, this is too wide. And so this is where your needle nose pliers come into play because you take this and you take the needle nose plier and you just pinch it like that. So if I had tried to do that with my hands, there's no chance I would have made that happen. Okay, now, okay, again, you have to keep looking. I don't want to make it too long, but I'm looking at the reference photo. I'm going to do this even more because he does have his snout, which comes out. So I want this to be fairly long, but not too long. Let's check in the scale. So if I make this the neck, okay, so let's say that's the neck going up. Then I need to, okay, let's pull this forward. This. Okay, so now we have, this is more like his snout. This is the neck coming down. And then we'll do the potato there. Okay, so this part, is that it? This part has to twist. I feel like this is not long enough. Let me redo that. Bend it a little lower. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay, so that's more the snout. That's the head coming down. Okay, this I'm going to pinch even more because even like this, the loop is a little bit too big. So let's really pinch it. 
Ow, that hurts. <laughs> the pliers are hard to use. If you're not used to this type of hardware, it's not so easy. Yeah, ginger, it is thick. And it's hard to work with. But, oh boy, it's so strong. And that feels amazing when you're working on a sculpture to have that confidence. Because I see people, they don't spend the time to make a good armature and it's just a total car crash after that. Okay, so there's, that's, this is the snout. And, hmm. That's the head. That's probably okay. Well, I'm, I'm just wondering if I should, mm, nah. Okay, let's twist. So what I wanna do here, th this is hard. Does everybody see how long the wire is? And so it's like going all over the place. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take, that is where I'm gonna start the wrapping. This is the one that's the hardest. The first wrap can be the most difficult. Oh, I've got to move my coffee. <laughs> my coffee is just an accident waiting to happen. Okay. So what I'm going to do It's this type of cross. You need that first before anything happens. Okay, and now I do this a lot where you hold part of it like this and then your hand can flip it over to the other side. Ah, it's all over. Okay. <clears throat> so does everybody see there's that first loop? And now, I'm gonna pull it across to make it tighter because if you look at your wire and if you see a big space in the middle, that's bad. That means it's not gonna be as tight as it needs to be. Okay, and then the next stage, so I have, and I gotta pull it some more. It's like not that. <clears throat> Oof, this is a workout. I hope you guys can see this. Okay, hold it with my pliers again and really wrap. Oh, <laughs> sorry, this is so hard. It's like going everywhere. Oh, <laughs> Try to keep it on camera. Uh, I have all these wires here. I think that's the problem. Okay, so does everybody see that has now been wrapped twice? And I'm trying to think if I should wrap it again. I'm gonna do one more wrap because I don't think this is quite long enough. Okay, again, hold it with the wire. Take your hand and pull. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Shut up, Apple Watch. <laughs> okay, so holding with the wire and then pulling with my hand. All right, let's look at that one more time. So here's the snout. Here's the neck. I'm trying to figure out if I'm ready for the potato. I think I am, am I? Let me just stick it here. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, but right now, I, I just want to take this and I'll pull it. So it's really tight. <clears throat> Ugh, okay. <laughs> okay, so for the potato, I think I want to pull it more apart so it's doing more like a split. Oh, crap. There goes my hammer. <laughs> okay, and 
this I have to do one at a time. Just want to double check the scale. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to like loop it around the potato. This is going to be tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to approximate the loop. Ugh. Yeah, like this wire is not easy, but it's strong. It's super strong. Okay, does everybody see I approximated the swirl? So now... Let's see if the potato wants to fit. Oh, well, that's not so bad. It's pretty good actually. But I need to tighten it around the potato. See, like I have this big space here. That's not what I want. Actually, if I, oh, that fits. Oh, cool. <laughs> I just had to rotate it. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. <laughs> what a nice surprise. Okay. Awesome. Going. Shoot, I hope that's enough for the legs. Twist, twist. Oh, man. I really hope it's long enough. I'm going to be sad if it's not. Okay, so hold the potato and the wire. And I'm trying to figure out which direction this one should go in. It should go the opposite. So maybe... And actually, the foam is soft enough that the wire is almost pressing into the potato, which makes it a little bit easier. Okay. Oh, how do I twist this? I guess it has to go across. So you see, this is not good. Like I don't want a big space there. So I have to like really... <clears throat> And what I'll do is I'll, these cross areas, I'm gonna wrap the thin armature around that. I really pull it though, make sure it works. Ugh. Oh, that's so cool. Do you guys see? It's digging into the potato. It's making it even more taut. I love that. Was not anticipating that. Ugh. On the other hand, I don't want it to like cut the potato. That would be bad. Oh, that's cool. Yay. I think it's happening. Okay, but I want this cross to be more, let's see, the head is here. So I want the cross to be more, oh, I got to move it this way. Okay, so let's put this here. Let's move this because I, I need it to start here. I don't want it to start on the side. Let's see if that works. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> here's where we're at. Hopefully, everybody can see that okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now. I'm going to wrap the pelvis. I need my needle nose pliers. Ugh. Come on. Because what I'm trying to get is this cross. That's where I'll wrap them around each other. Whew. Tell me in the chat, 
What have you guys been working on? What are some of your personal projects? Because I confess when I woke up this morning, I'm like, I don't want to do an armature. I want to just paint Aaron to bait. <laughs> I was on such a roll with the fan art. And I was just so excited. I mean, this is fun too. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. We're just having so much fun with that. You guys hear that? That's funny. <laughs> okay, so pulling that across. So what are you guys working on right now? Are you making a sculpture? Are you practicing gesture drawing? What's going on? Ugh. Okay, let's pull, pull, pull. All right, now, okay, this is better. So now I, I have something I can actually grip. That's what I was trying to get. Takes. And again, remember, I'm paranoid. <laughs> and so I'm like, it has to be super strong. Okay, let's see. That might be enough. Ugh. Let me just try this. Okay, there's the, I've wrapped it twice. That's pretty good. Okay, and now I'm going to make the pelvis. like this. Okay, so as everybody see, I've got the potato, I have the spine, and I have the hind legs. Okay, so time to take a look at this again. Move this so you guys can see a little better. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking. What's that? Grab that some more. I think that's enough. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so his hind legs. So this is different than a human. I've actually never made an animal sculpture before. Isn't that weird? You think I would have by now, but I haven't. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. Does everybody see? Those are the hind legs. And actually, I gotta twist this more because it doesn't align with the head. Let's try that. Okay. Yeah, if anybody here is making fan art, Fan art is the art dare. So I'm doing the art dare this month. Okay, I'm gonna see the neck is not upright enough. So I just made that. Oh, that's pretty good. Th this is a little bit loose. I see a little um, pocket, but I can fill that with little bits of. Okay, this is too wide. So actually, let me go in and make that a little less wide. Okay, so I, I feel like that is a better width for the pelvis. Crispy says, did you cut your hand? I did not, but I do have... <laughs> fake bruise marks on my arm because I was working on that painting yesterday and it's all red and purple. And so I, I just, I look bruised, but no, I'm fine. Thank you for asking, Crispy. Yes, Anna, I am going to sculpt this armature because my 13 year old who hates everything really liked the Maggie sculpture. Maggie is my sister-in-law's dog in case some of you missed it. And said, oh, please make a bunny skull. Like, she's actually bothering me about it. She's asking me, when are you going to make it? And so I told her I was going to do the armature this weekend. So she was happy about that. Ginger Cell says, I might do some fan art. My brain needs to unmush from finals. You guys, I had no idea fan art was so fun. It's like, 
why did I do this before? <laughs> and because it's just like, oh, I got to do more Google searches. Apparent debate. I got to watch every clip on YouTube because I have to infuse its energy into the fan art. Looks like Seven Angelic. Is doing fan art too. Have been sketching favorite animated characters. Victoria is doing the drawing painting tracks. Amanda is doing small digital character paintings. And we also have Lisa, who says, I'm doing a spine which includes the tail and a head profile. The front legs are one wire, back legs are one wire, three total wires. Fingers crossed. Oh, I'm so excited to see what you do. We've got somebody from Romania, Skurper. Thank you so much for joining us. Manette is working on their art there, starting to get back into writing, very inspired by horror novels. And Crispy says, I've been busy making little ceramic things. I've also taken up making mugs by hand without a wheel. It's super funny and also challenging. I really wish I had time to go back and do a ceramics class. I really didn't do that. Oh, Seven Angelic. <laughs> Welcome to the club. I'm, I'm fully converted now. I mean, part of me is still like cringing a little bit, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, Anna's working on cats. Yeah, Anna was in the cat drawing workshop yesterday. So that, that's really cool that you can continue the work from the workshop. Okay. I just want to make sure the hind legs. I mean, Buddy has pretty big legs. I'm going to make them a little bit less wide because I'm just a little worried that if they're too wide, they're going to cause me trouble. Okay, so if you guys see that's a little bit less wide. Okay, good. It looks like the legs are not too short. Oh, phew. That stresses me out so much when I go to do the armature and I'm like, oh my God, there's not enough space. <laughs> it really stresses me out. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to get the front legs on. Because I feel like it's sort of hard to gauge the length of the back legs. So let's get a piece of wire for that. Again, my epic spool of armature wire. Okay, I'm going to grab this. A lot of making an armature is approximating. You have to approximate how big things are. And it's not easy to do. So if anybody's struggling with it, you're right to struggle. It's not easy. I think that's about right. Okay, so let's cut it here. Be a little bit longer. A little insurance for my armature. Okay, so let's try to think about how I'm gonna attach this. You know what I might do? I might actually carve in here to make a little nook because what I want to do is put this under this. Yeah, I'm going to try that. So styrofoam noses, noses, noises are coming. Turn off your volume if it bothers you. That's pretty cool. So you can see I just burrowed underneath that. And then let's go in. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Isn't that awesome, you guys? I just threw it in. And I might wrap thin armature in there. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. I'm trying to stick this so it's in the middle of the wire. I probably didn't even have to dig that out. I probably could have just stuck it through. Oh well, live and learn. I'm hoping that's stable enough. Hang on a sec. Uh, 
wondering if I should. No, that's too difficult. Okay, let's. And what I'll do is. Okay, yeah, that, that's good enough. I'll, I'll wrap it later. So if you guys can see, this is the. And see how this is like really round? That's not so great. So I'm going to take the plier and just bend it so it's not like that. Oh, look, you guys, it looks like an animal. You know what I might do? This is so loose. I think I'm going to wrap it. Okay, so let, let's turn this back into a V. I'm going to take it out for a second. Turn it into a V. Oh. Look at this. Okay, let's maybe get that a little tighter. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to put it through here, right? And then I'm going to twist. So here's where I have to take it. Ugh, oh my gosh. So if you guys can see, there's like a loop here. Yeah, this is hard. Ugh. I have to like pull really hard. Ugh. I feel like I'm at the gym doing weights and grunting. Um, when I was in high school, I played a lot of volleyball. I was pretty good at it. I was a league all-star. And we had this drill that we used to do. My coach called it the hard hitting drill and we loved it. So we would spike balls, but he told us we had to make really loud grunting sounds. <laughs> so we would go up and hit, we go, <laughs> it was so fun. I loved that drill. <laughs> Okay, so now I've got that loop. I can hold this with my pliers. So does everybody see this? I'm gripping with my pliers and then I'm twisting. This way. Like that. that might be the only twist I need, I'm not sure. <clears throat> okay, now let's get the hind legs in place. This is going to need another supportive piece. I can already tell. So it's kind of like this. Yeah. But th this is really, really loose. Does everyone see that? So I need to, I need to wrap the really thin wire. So that's this. This is the 16th of an inch armature wire. And again, cut it too long because it's a pain when it is too short. Oh, Vaporistic here after a year. Welcome back. And they're saying it would be easier if there's a clamp on one leg. Twisting will be easier that way. My favorite way to do it actually is with a vise because the vise makes it much easier. It's just on this live, I can't really do that. Someday, maybe I'll have the funding to make a full out tutorial. But this is what you get right now. So, I mean, unfortunately, a lot of the lives I have to compromise some of the stuff because there just isn't like physical space. Oh, his his legs are sort of back. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Come on. Okay, so really, I'm trying to figure out where 
Okay, it needs to stay up here. That's where I want it. So I'm going to remind myself. And now I'm going to actually put wire through. And it's sort of the same thing where you go to the middle of the wire. And so now you can wrap. So I wouldn't start wrapping at the end. I start wrapping in the center and that's a little bit more stable. Okay, and now th this is very easy to wrap, but this has to be like tight. This, this cannot be a little bit not tight, loose. <laughs> that's what I meant. So right now I'm just wrapping it around. I need to get it to sit. Well, I'm glad you're all here with me because I know armatures and sculpture, it's not as popular as say people wanting to paint. So I'm, I'm happy that I can show you these more obscure techniques, even though it means I won't get a lot of views, like who cares? I mean, when I first started my channel, I cared so much about that. I mean, it's not that I don't anymore. Of course, I want my videos to perform well, but sometimes it's just that's just not what matters. <laughs> okay, I'm forgetting <laughs> where these legs are supposed to go. Is this to, okay, this needs to be a little higher. So I'm actually I'm going to hold this into place because I, I want to make sure I'm not forgetting where it's supposed to go. Okay, and so now this goes underneath that wire because I want to wrap that and I'm pulling so, so hard, really pulling hard. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go up, I'm going to twist around the neck like this, and that is really gonna help. Anchor that into place. Let's see how that's feeling, it's still loose. I need to wrap down here. So I'm gonna go underneath this wire again. Oh, there's barely enough space. <laughs> Come on, go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's take the needle nose pliers and pull that through because that's that's really not something I can do. So does everybody see what a mess <laughs> this is becoming? It's just, yeah, all these wires, but sometimes it has to be that way. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's somebody else on the internet who's way better than me. Probably there is, but this is how I do it. Although... I will say there is such a thing as an armature that is way too complicated. So I do think some people make it more complicated than it needs to be. It, it's hard because sometimes you need some complexity to hold things into place, but then it's like other times you want it to be as simple as possible. That's the whole thing about an armature is it, it has to be efficient. You don't want extra stuff where you don't need it because it gets in the way and structurally is not as good. Okay, so again, taking my needle nose pliers to pull the wire into place. Okay, All right, let's see. Okay, so I need to get this one. This wire now has to get wrapped into place. I'm just checking the front view to make sure it's all right before I do that. I actually think I, I want to twist this a little more to the right. Thank you so much, Donna, for the super chat. God bless you, Clara, for doing these live streams. We get to see the good, the bad, and the ugly process of making art. That you do. <laughs> that is guaranteed in every single stream. And thank you, Victoria, for the super sticker. You guys are fantastic. I'm so happy when you support us. 
because yeah, I, I know a live stream is not everybody's cup of tea. A lot of people don't have time to watch a live stream, but to me, it's like, it really helps the people who do. And so, yeah, I'm not going to get a million views on this, but that's not the point. And actually I find that sometimes it's the, the popular videos that, you know, they're popular, but they, they don't really truly engage with people. And I'd rather, oh, come on, I need my pliers here. I'd rather have a video that affects 10 people really deeply than it reach a thousand people and people don't really care. Okay. Let's pull this. I feel like I'm sewing. <laughs> Isn't this funny looking? And I love how thoughtful our audience is. You are all so engaged. And I, I just love that. There's nothing better than that because I love, <laughs> love reading the comments that people leave on our channel because they're really good comments. People giving advice and comments and sometimes I look at other art channel comments and they're not as engaged. They're like, cool, love it. Awesome. And that, that's nice. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying, oh, what? I just, you guys, I just like looped it out. <laughs> I did the opposite of what I was trying to do. Shoot. Okay. Now I have to get rid of this loop. Um, because this loop shouldn't be here. I need it to be. Oh, that was so stupid. I can't believe I did that. Sometimes I take the pliers and I just pinch. All right. Oh my gosh, it's like Dog City. Hang on, let me close the window. <laughs> so there is a dog next door who has got this really like high-pitched bark. Something about it, but it drives Buddy crazy. So every time the neighbor's dog comes out, Buddy goes, ah! <laughs> like he's, he gets like really overly excited. <laughs> so we have to make sure that he's not out when the other dog is out because he just like cannot focus when that happens. Who here has a dog? And if you don't have a dog, do you have a pet? Okay, I'm going to go under and tell me if you have a pet and one personality trait or, or one thing that your pet does that's really impressive okay i'm gonna loop it back here like jump jump our guinea pig he's athletic we have a video of him climbing the stairs and it's like none of our other pigs have any interest in climbing stairs Maybe they can, but Jub Jub has like thighs. He's got like very strong physique. And it's funny, you wouldn't think little potatoes have much to say, but they have such distinctive personalities. And then we have Pook, who's one of the baby pigs, although he's pretty big now. Oh, come on, don't do that. I was hoping I could just pull it through, but I guess not. Okay, now I'm gonna jiggle it. How is that feeling? Okay, let's see. I feel like I need something here. So what I'm gonna do, because I can feel this section's a little bit loose, so I think I'm gonna wrap it back here. That's another good way to connect the parts with the thin wire. <clears throat> More grunting. <laughs> 
actually, <laughs> of course, I read every single post that Hugh Jackman puts on Instagram. And he's been posting videos of him working out because he's going to be in Deadpool 3. And I love those videos. <laughs> he did this one of him on a treadmill. I was like, dude, you're on a treadmill, but you've got arms. <laughs> and then he posted some picture of all the food you have to eat. I think he said he has to eat like 8,000 calories a day, which is so nuts to me. But uh, I like his workout videos. <laughs> That's really good. I love his Instagram. <laughs> I like his Instagram because you can tell it's him posting. I actually found Cher the other day on Instagram. I was like, oh my gosh, I want to follow Cher. She's so funny. Like, I just love her outfits. Like, she's perfect for Instagram. And so I went on her account and the whole account is her pushing products. And it was just such a turnoff. I was like, I don't want to follow you, Cher. This is not a good account. And then same thing, I think it was like Halle Berry. I looked for some reason her Instagram popped up on my feed. And it's it, again, her pushing products. And I was like, I don't want to follow you. Instagram's weird. Like the recommendations it gives me are bad. It really does not know what I need. In fact, I just feel like a lot of the recommended, it's all like Hollywood women. I'm like, why? Why are you showing me all these women who are prettier, younger, and skinnier than me? It's like, I don't really want that. I feel like TikTok does a much better job. So actually, <laughs> no, it's confession time, you guys. So I was talking to the staff about their video watching habits because we're we're sort of due for a shakeup. I, I feel like I, I like what we're doing, but YouTube is not showing me very much love right now. So um, I was saying to the staff, I was like, listen, we need to do something different. And so I said, hey, what, what do you guys watch on TikTok or Instagram? What, what type of videos are you watching? It was very funny because Jordan predictably so, was like, yeah, my TikTok feed is Spider-Man and character design, concept art stuff. <laughs> and I forget, I think Lauren said she watches a lot of ASMR videos. It was very funny. But so my TikTok feed is basically Aaron Tveit. <laughs> There's not many Hugh Jackman videos though. I think because he's older, the younger crowd is not into him. And so there's not that much. It makes me sad. So that's why I'm glad he's on Instagram. A little Pedro Pascal, some art stuff. And stuff about the royal family. I don't know why it keeps sending me stuff like that. I mean, they're fine. I know there's been a lot of drama. But yeah, it's random. Or I guess it shows me current events because I really like current events. Well, not that I like current events, but I'm sort of a news junkie. So I do watch a lot of like PBS News Hour and <laughs> boring stuff like that. Okay, so does, does everybody see? <laughs> Look at this monstrosity. It's really weird. I think I'm almost there though, because what I do to test the armature is I will go in. And I, I will just like pull it and, and see how strong or weak it is. Oh, what am I trying to do here? Maybe I just need to oh, pull, pull, pull. Okay, good, good. That's better. That, that just made the wire a lot more taut. I got rid of some of the gaps that are in between. I just want to wrap this a little more. Okay, so let's pull it and let's see how strong it is. Oh, I need the pliers here. Come on. Oh man, this thing does not want to bend. 
I need two pliers. Okay, so sometimes what I do is I'll hold it like this with one plier, and then I'll take the second plier. In theory, that's what I would do, but oh, it's too hard. It's not going to work. Okay, so those are the front legs. So I'm just shaking it to see. I, I think I want another wire here because here I, I do have that second wire and that is helping me. I'm just going to finish wrapping this just a hair more. Get it just a little bit more stable. Okay, so this is really tight. This, this left leg is totally fine. Okay, so now I take the rest of the wire and I just wrap it down the leg. You want to do that anyway. You don't want to keep the leg like that because then the wire, it'll just slide off, which is bad. Now, when I get here, I have that last little piece. I do need my pliers to pull that around. So I'll just take the pliers and pinch it so it goes to that side. Okay, so this, I need a wire here. I feel like that's not great, what I have going on. Sometimes I think what's on your TikTok feed or whatever you're looking at, sometimes I feel like it's our secret <laughs> that we have because I'm like, I don't want anyone to know that I watch this. <laughs> it's sort of like Spotify. I feel like some people are like, Oh, well, I don't want anyone to see my Spotify playlist because <laughs> some of them are really embarrassing. I find that hilarious. <laughs> my husband is actually really annoyed because we have YouTube on our TV that we all watch together and it's his account. And he's like, you're watching all these Aaron Tveit musical clips. It's so annoying. It's like all over the feed now. I'm like, sorry, I can't help it. I just like it when Aaron Tveit is really big on the TV. I like seeing his face big. He's so cute. <laughs> okay, so I need to, th this is getting in the way. I need to pull this past that. Okay, that's better. Now let's pull to make sure that's nice and taut. And I'm gonna take each of these wires and I'm gonna just loop it around and underneath as well. Oh, come on. Okay, pull that through. Okay, nice and tight. <clears throat> okay, and again, here, I can't really do it with my hands. So I'm gonna take the pliers and, and pull. Getting there. Come on. Come on. Okay, pulling that. Good, that's better. Okay, so now I take the rest of it and I wrap it down the legs. And then I take my pliers and pinch it. Come on. This live stream is such a different rhythm than the other ones that we typically do. Okay, let's take a look at what's happening in the chat. George had a dog. After it rained, she figured out the crown of our road dried out first. It would curl up right in the middle of the street. Oh, Manette has a dog. Carrot gets overwhelmed by Rumi's dog, Lucky. So he'll add, act like he wants out. Lucky will go with him. As soon as Lucky's outside, Carrot runs to his bed and just chills. It's sort of like Wheat and Jub Jub. They're in a cage together and we got them together. So they're bonded. And it's funny when we've let them out just to run around the floor, Wheat always follows Jubby. It's never the other way around. Like Wheat will wait for Jub Jub to move before he'll get up. It's it's really sweet. He really needs Jub Jub, I suppose. L1485, five cats. That's awesome. That That's probably what my kids wish they had, but my husband's allergic to cats, so we can't have a cat. 
Amanda says, have had dogs waiting for our lives to settle to get another since hours pass. Oh, I'm so sorry. Have three cats at the moment. Two are more than a year old. Ginger, you've got a chihuahua? Her name is Hillary? Oh, that's so cute. Crispy has a harness train cat that I love very much. That is so cool. Yeah, Ginger's looking like a creature than a dog. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, <laughs> not there yet. AA is asking, how do you know what material and thickness you want your wire to be? I've seen other armatures with different types of wires. It seems intimidating. Well, I can tell you, this is a 16th of an inch. And I, I pretty much would never use this one straight, unless I'm making a figure like that big. I'm not going to use this. This is primarily just wrapping. I, I wouldn't use this for anything else. Okay. Now the other wire, which of course I can't find now. I think I threw it on the floor somewhere. Here it is. So this is an eighth of an inch. This is okay if you're going seven inches tall. It's probably fine. I would say after you get past 10 inches, you can't use the thin wire anymore. So a lot of it's scale. So you ask yourself, okay, what is the height? Because the height usually determines the gauge of wire. I might have been able to, no, probably. Because the thing about the legs is that the legs are too flimsy and you want to say bend the leg that's not good. So that, that's why I tend to like the thicker wire. So even though this is harder to work with, it's like so crazy strong. So yeah, this, this is getting there. I'm just going to wrap a little bit more because I'm paranoid. I feel like most of what I do in my life is because I'm paranoid. I'm like worried about something. I, I'm the type of person, if my kids ask me, for a sheet of paper, I'm like, here's five. Because <laughs> I'm worried they're going to run out. <laughs> no, they, they hate that I do that, but I can't help it. I'm always worried that they're too cold. And so I always bring an extra jacket. Or sometimes it's, they're like, I'm not hungry. I'm like, you might be. So yes, paranoia as a parent. <laughs> Okay, so I just use that to pinch. All right, and then I'm going to come back around and wrap down the leg. So you can see what's hard about an armature. It is sort of make it up <laughs> as you go along. I mean, the only one that I think is really predictable is the human figure. If, if you're doing like a regular size proportion figure. This one's pretty predictable, but other stuff, not so much. I mean, you'll see, like I had to add the snout for Buddy. Okay, let's see. So what I do is I pull. Yeah, like that, that's not going anywhere. So that's really strong. Okay, so let's go back to Buddy. You know what, back here, I need to wrap here. Okay, and on the butt, I need to wrap there. It's just a little bit. Cut that. Yeah, so I'm gonna go like in between. And again, I'm doing like that V shape that happens. And I'm gonna do the V shape and go through that hole so that way it gets more taut and you want to wrap in different directions like you don't want to wrap all in the same area let's see how that it's okay I, I think i want to do one more wrap just to be on the safe side and this I'm going to pull with the needle nose pliers. I'm pulling really hard. It's not just a little bit, everybody. Okay, so then we're going to go back down and wrap the rest of that lock. Okay. Let's see if that's. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna do just a little more. <laughs> I, I just, I get so paranoid that it's not gonna be solid. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just like a really paranoid person. I know. I, I just, I, I feel like I want my life to have 18 safety nets. <laughs> like I'm so uptight about those things. Okay, wrap that. This is the easy part. Just go around the leg. And eventually I will wrap all of the legs. I'm just trying to use up this wire right now. Okay, let's see. Oh, yay! You guys, look! It's coming along. Okay, so let's check this. Okay, really strong. Check this. That's really strong. Good. Okay, so I'm going back to my reference photo now. And Buddy's front right leg, it really goes back a lot. So I'm going to really push it backwards like that. And his other foot is more this way. Yeah, he's got like a lot of, like his, his legs are not upright. They're, they're really quite tilted. Okay, so now we got to figure out the height, where we're going to attach. And I just need to really look. Okay, there's his potato. Actually, I want this. I, I got to pull this up. I think the pit's not high enough. Okay, is that better? This whole thing has to come up. <clears throat> Maybe the legs need to come more forward. Should I take that back? <laughs> Maybe not. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay, good. His butt sticks out a little more. is where I do the pliers again. See, I'm, I'm pulling it to make sure it's still strong. Okay, I, I'm not sure I like the space in here, but the thing is this wire is so strong that I don't think it matters. I think I, I need the potato to go like up more. So that's why I'm thinking about. Oh, the leg needs to come back. Is that more it? Let's see. Even a little higher up. It's like minor twists. Yeah, oh my gosh, I'm pulling the thigh the butt up like really high. Like before I had it down here, it was coming out this way and now it's up at the top because I didn't get his stance. Move it up even more. Whoa, that is so different than what I had before. Does everybody see how that got moved up? But then I was looking at the orientation of the potato and the potato, it's more tilted. Like I had it sort of straight before. Let's just make sure that's just checking. Might need to shave this. Yeah, I think I'm going to shave a bit of that. It's a little bit too. Okay, styrofoam noise. because his stomach loops down, but then up here, there's a lot less space. Okay, I actually think it's too high now. <laughs> it's a lot of adjusting, you guys. This, this is not stuff that you nail the first time through at all. 
Ginger says, armature looks so sturdy, it can withstand anything. Well, I always tell the students, if you can throw it against the wall and it will survive, that's a good armature. <laughs> oh, Krishna says, all that armature reminded me of my stop motion days at RISD. How cool. Who here has done stop motion animation? I never have, but I love it. I mean, I love all those wonky, remember those Christmas specials with Frosty the Snowman? The guy with the hat and the glass, the the hat and the mustache. I loved those. And Gumby. Who here watched Gumby? That's an old show. Probably a lot of you haven't watched it, but I used to watch Gumby on TV when I was a kid. Okay. Checking this again. Actually, his snout needs to come more down. Oh, you know what? The neck needs to come back more. So let's just. Ugh. Okay, but that's too curvy now. <laughs> oh, that's still too curvy. No, not that way. Okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe the snout needs a little pinch. All right, Let, let's get him down. Okay, so I need to measure how long the leg is. This is hard. This, this is the proportion part that's not so easy. His legs are not that long. So I'm thinking, looking at that distance. Oh, it's really hard. I, oh, you know what? I think he's not long enough. He's not, shoot. Okay, we <laughs> have to bend this. <laughs> To make him longer. Let's try that again. Oh, it's still not high enough. Okay, to go up, but also flatten. I feel like the orientation is not quite what I want it to be. But maybe I'm just get, getting distracted by the potato. I don't know. It's probably okay, but I just, again, get paranoid. I feel like I might need an extra wire here at the top because this is sort of empty, although mm, it might be okay. Okay, yeah, let's try this. Okay, so if that's the potato, that's the leg. You know, I might need to cut the snout. The snout might be too long. Okay, let's just start to show where the legs might be. So this is good. Does everybody see how long this is? That's good. You don't want it to be too short. And we'll put it onto the base. I feel like that's too long. Yeah, his legs are not that long. That a little bit shorter. So I need a new show to watch. Who can tell me, is there a series that is good? Because we just finished Narcos on Netflix because Pedro Pascal. <laughs> and that was cool. I liked nonfiction a lot. And then we watched this really boring show. Oh, I thought it was boring. 
on HBO called The Outsider. It's based on a Stephen King novel. I just, I found it just so achingly slow. Like nothing would happen in a whole episode. So if you have a show that you can recommend, not Shadow and Bone, because my husband just watched that. And again, I was sort of bored to tears. I mean, I wasn't really watching. I was sort of watching more peripherally. Because there's just too many shows now, you guys. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I sort of miss the days of three channels. Like, it, now it's like we spend more time browsing than we do actually watching stuff. And the thing is, like, when did it Cumberbatch? is not going to have a new movie for a long time. Same with Hugh Jackman. So I'm a little bit sad. Oh, you know what? There, there's a, a okay. The thigh is sort of like round. So I'm gonna. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe even a little more. Let's see how that works. Is that, is that good? Okay, and then. This other leg is going to come forward. Mm. Oh, the potato rotated, you guys. How, how do I get out of this? I need the potato to go like more up. Maybe that's what I need. Well, so this would be a lot of clay. I could just fill that with clay. That would be fine. But I feel like the rotation of my potato got a little weird. Let's see. I might have to cut some more of the potato. But you know, I'm not going to do it right now because I think... When I get to the sculpting, I might see it a little bit better. I feel like the snout is definitely too long, but I, I can cut that later. That's not difficult. Be a little bit longer. Getting there. Okay, so let's let's start to get this so it can be flat on the table. On the so I think these really need to like come up like this. All right, let's see. I need more TV recommendations. Oh, Donna says Yellow Jackets. Is that the one with Harrison Ford? I feel like I saw something about that. Or maybe he like shot the second season. I have heard about The Expanse. My husband watched it and he thought it was really good. Maybe he'll rewatch it with me. Oh, Star Trek Strange New World. Well, so my husband, he's not like a Trekkie, but he watches all the Star Trek. And I'm just not a Star Trek person. <laughs> just never had that before. My brother and sister were obsessed with TNG, The Next Generation. And my husband too really liked that show. Yeah, this, this needs to come down. I might want to wrap one more wire there. I know this is taking forever, you guys, but this is just, this is what it is. This is not a quick fix. Yeah, because I can see this part of the potato is not very stable. So I'm just going to add another wire here to hold it into place. Again, I'm going to put it underneath another wire, make it more stable. And we'll just get a supporting structure here to hold that into place. Pull that, wrap it around a few times. Mm. 
this is why you want the hard floral foam because you can see I, I'm really digging into the floral foam quite a bit. Okay, we gotta pull this with it. Oh, shoot. And of course, now I need another wire here to hold that into place. Okay, hang on. You know, I might be able to wrap this one back around so I don't have to use a second piece of wire. Yeah, so let's get that. Oh, this is so dilapidated, you guys. Oh my God. You must all think I'm such a disaster. <laughs> I mean, the main thing is is the, the styrofoam is what makes it hard. If you're just doing one and you don't have the styrofoam, it's a lot easier. Like the human figure one, you, you don't really need that much. Is that better? Yes, it is better. It's just such a pain. This is why nobody wants to do sculpture. It's such a pain in the butt. Who here has done sculpture? Not not necessarily this, but any type of sculpture, any 3D, whatever. Who here has done that? Okay, this I'm going to just cut because I don't really need that anymore. And this is... Yeah, this I'm going to wrap this way. <laughs> I really feel like I'm weaving here. Okay, and then pull this out from the other side. Come on. Come on. Pull! Oh, gosh. Now I'm just annoyed. Okay, we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna get this. <laughs> I like on the beginning, I'm like, yes, you have to be on top of it. And now I'm like, ah, whatever. <laughs> we are where we are. Let me pinch that some more. Okay, so now, okay, good. Does everybody see the potatoes not moving anymore? It was sort of sliding a little bit, which is bad. And I do think I'm a little bit more anal retentive than your typical sculptor about this stuff. I'm gonna just shave a little more. I feel like that's too much. Jeez, his front his front left leg is like really far back. I'm, I'm surprised. At how far back it is. Okay. Let me push it really back. Okay, and then this one is a little more straight. This one a little too forward. Wow, this this one's so far back. Like I did not anticipate how far back that front left leg is. It's even more. Oh my gosh. It's so weird. It's like the, these angles can get so confusing. But I'd rather make the angle too dramatic than not dramatic enough. Let's pinch this. Okay. Does everybody see that? That works better. And this one is also really far back where this one is. Okay, so that feels pretty good for the front two legs. I mean, the left legs. Now we're going to try to get it to sit. This one's oh, even more. It's never enough.
Oh, thanks, Victoria. We love you, Claire. You too harsh on yourself. Crispy loves chaotic Claire. Well, I'm glad you do because <laughs> I usually don't. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Some days you just have to laugh at yourself. You're just like, this is too big. That's so small. I got to fix this. <laughs> Where's my bread? I can't find my green. <laughs> it just... I was actually thinking it might be fun to make a three minute video. I don't know if anybody saw the day in the life short that I posted, but I was thinking it would be fun to make a video that's like, what's in my head any given moment, which is probably like, oh, where's my at medium air intubate? I need this. Where's that? I gotta pick up the kids, air intubate. <laughs> okay, I think it's almost there. So for you guys to see, this is the view that I have of the armature. Like, see this? I can just drop it and it's fine. Like nothing's going to happen to it. Okay, this needs to be, see, this is like too loopy. I have to make the angle a little bit more severe. Ready? Might be. No, oh, I, I feel like the legs should be a little shorter, but it's hard to say because there's going to be a lot of form here. Okay, let's just make this angle. This angle is a little bit too round. And you know what I've noticed too, and and tell me in the chat if this is the case for you as well. But I find it very hard to carve out times for like deep work because when I'm at my desk and I'm doing schedules and I'm typing in the discord, it's very scatterbrained. It's like a little here, a little there, little things all smooshed together into my morning. But you know, that time when you just you put your phone away, nobody's talking to you, you are not being interrupted every 10 minutes by your teenagers. Like that deep work, it, it's not common anymore. And I feel like because we have smartphones now and there's just constant interruptions, it's hard to find that time for like deep work. So that's probably why I've been excited about the fan art because I work on it in the evenings when we're watching stuff. If my husband goes to bed early, I can put on the longer's clips. <laughs> he doesn't even watch it with me. <laughs> so I have to make sure he's not around. But that deep work is hard. So I'm curious who here has had periods of deep work really focused because I find it almost impossible. Usually I won't get that deep work until everybody's gone to bed. <laughs> By the way, thank you so much, Shannon, for the super sticker. Those super stickers matter, everybody. Little here, a little there. I was bumming yesterday because actually our spring raffle didn't do that well, which was sort of frustrating because I was like, we have more followers. Why is the spring raffle doing worse? I don't know. So we, we need that budget because, oh boy, I got stressed about that. Okay, this might be too long. A little shorter. So does everybody see? It's like it's so many tweaks. Okay, Amanda's asking how long. <laughs> I know. I think for me, it's at least an hour, which sounds pathetic because an hour is not that long. But it's like when you've got kids bothering you all day and notifications and people asking you stuff and, oh, I need to do this. I need to respond to that. An hour is actually, for me, very precious. Two hours is like luxury cruise. <laughs> that's like, oh my gosh. And again, sometimes I stay up really late because that's the only time nobody's bothering me. Although my older kid has started staying up late and she's a little bit of a night owl now, but she doesn't bother me. So it's, it's really nice. <laughs> I'm still feeling like the legs are a little too long, but I guess if I add some floof, I feel like I want to add styrofoam here. Like that's kind of a big chunk. 
But anyway, let's get this glued down, not glued down, but hammered down. Okay. All right, so does everybody see like these are way too long? I don't need that much. So what I need is enough to wrap it onto the board. So probably, I don't know, what is that? Like two and a half inches? Because again, I can always trim it. It's not difficult to trim. Cutting that. This one. And then maybe. Okay, so I've cut all those pieces now. And now is the point where I actually need to take a hammer. If I can find it. All right, I'm actually going to mute myself because this is really loud, hammering. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Winting and looking at it. I feel like, ugh. see, I do this thing. Does anybody else do this? Tell me in the chat. Where I'm like, oh, I'm working on this. But then as I'm working on that, I'm like, oh, wait, that part's messed up too. And then I jump to that. And then I'm not working on <laughs> the thing I was supposed to be working on. <laughs> Crispy says, what type of clay are you planning on using in part two? I'm going to use air dry clay. And it's going to be white clay with black clay. It's going to be really fun. I suppose I could color some clay for his tongue. But he has a huge tongue. Lisa says, do you pick a pose before building the armature or does it change? I usually pick the pose first because then I can figure out exactly, okay, how does the torso relate to the pelvis? That is pretty important. Oh, so Donna, I got to wait 11 years to get some time for deep work. Okay. I, I, can, I hope I get there. <laughs> yeah, me too, Semnangelic. Even when I'm doing deep work, I'm like, oh, I should have. Oh, wait, I forgot. Again, it's that paranoia. It's like, I forgot to do that one thing that's going to screw my kids over the next day. Well, guess what, Ginger? You can make a one-time donation anytime. It does not have to be during the raffle. So if anybody wants to contribute, do that anytime. And Ginger says, when I'm in school, I have to make time for it because it's the only way projects get done for the summer. I doubt if I do any deep work. I mean, that's fine. I think the summer should be different than what you do during the year. Okay, so Amanda's had a couple, but it's been due to ADHD hyperfocus, so other stuff gets neglected. Oh, it's so hard. We have so many demands on our lives. People asking us for things. I, I feel like all day people are like, I need this. I need this. Although a lot of it is me hounding people. I need this. So I guess it goes both ways. Okay. Um, just checking it one more time. Oh, I still feel like there's too much here on the potato. Just a little sliver. Because I'm anal like that. Okay, that's pretty good. I, I think I'm happy with that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do for the legs, the feet rather, is I'm going to curl them around like this. Okay, so does everybody see that leg is now curled? So the concept is that the curl it then sits, hopefully you guys can see, this shape sits on the board. Uh, and this one I'm gonna curve the other way because I just wanna make sure I have enough room 
sometimes if you put the the feet parts too close to each other you have a hard time hammering which is what i'm going to do to adhere the stuff to the base all right and then this one again is also going to do the same thing wrap that around down make sure because you, you need to get everything aligned i feel like the hind legs are too too long oh, i feel like the legs are too long in the back let's fix that yeah i think that's not gonna work well Let's see if that's a better height for the back legs. Is it? Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's so much adjusting, you guys. And I will hammer this in a little bit. Okay, let's turn this one around, twist it. Okay. So this is what I've got. Does everybody see the twist? That's the foot. Oh, this is still too long. Come on. Yeah, I think we all have this almost internal monologue <laughs> with ourselves when we're working. My internal monologue is usually just a crisis. Okay. Oh, man, I still haven't done the tail yet, you guys. Oh. Little bit more twist. Yeah, the distraction thing is real. I think a lot of us struggle with that. And I, I'm gonna blame it on cell phones because I, I don't remember being like this. Okay, I'm gonna mute because I'm gonna use my hammer, it's gonna get really loud. I'm back. So what I'm trying to do now is I need this to be like flush. Like I, I can't have one that's like tilted up. So that's why I went and did that. This back leg is still bothering me so much. Because what I'm looking at is the angles of the legs. Okay, more hammer time. Okay, let's hammer this down. So what I typically do is I take nails 
and I put the nail here and then I like flop the nail over the wire. So I'm going to mute. Sorry, kid is texting me. Do you have money? <laughs> Watch your fingers. <laughs> I just hit my finger. Not that hard, thank goodness. Okay, so does everybody see this? I hammer down the nail and then I hammer it down so it's flopped over the armature. I mean, I'm sure there's other ways to do this. This is how I do it. I find it very stable. So I'm gonna try that some more. Okay, so what you see here is there's three. You need three because otherwise it's not, and this is super, super stable. Yeah, Seven Angelic says, so you're using the nails kind of like staples. You know something? I have used staples before, and honestly, they're not as good as the nails. I found the nails a lot better because I could really get them to fit and they're stronger, they're wider than the staples. So I happen to like this a lot more right here. All right. I'm just going to do the one more and then the other I'm going to do later because I do want to show you guys how to do the tail. Okay, so muting again. This one fell off. All right. <laughs> and by the way, sometimes you have to move your armature a little bit so you can get to the nail. Okay, so you can see now I've got the two legs hammered down. I'll do the other two later because honestly, this table I'm using is not very stable. So I'll do the others later. And the last thing is the tail. So I'm going back to my portrait of Buddy. You know what? I might like lean the whole thing. Just looking at it some more. Okay, so the tail needs to come up like this. Again, just with my finger. So I think I'll wrap, uh, I think I'll wrap a wire under here. Uh, 
hang on a sec. I've got to think this through. Might just be better back here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to do it from here. Okay, let's try that. Almost done. Okay, cutting it again too long. And I'm going to insert this underneath. And again, it's the same thing. It's that like V shape that you're going to do. Pull some more. And the tail. Ugh. Buddy's got a pretty big tail. He actually, he's very sensitive about it. He doesn't like it when I try to brush his tail. And actually, I don't need to get the tail to the perfect um, length because I can always fix it. Okay, but I do need to wrap. Okay, I definitely need my pliers here. Ugh. Okay, so as everybody see, there's this mess of wires. And actually, now I'm going to move the wire this way so it goes like across the thigh. And so that'll make it a little more stable. <clears throat> Pinching some more. Ooh, oh, that's so good. You guys, it's really stable. Good, good, good. Yay. I'm happy. Okay. I don't even, yeah, that doesn't even need extra wrapping wire. All right, so let's see. This tail is kind of like this. I'm looking at the angle of his tail. Trying to get it to the right. Oh, no, it does need some wire. It's a little bit. Okay. All right. I'm going to clip it here, but it's a little bit too long. I, I don't mind that because who knows? Yay, there's the tail. Okay. Let's do the soft wire just to give this a little wrap. Does everybody see here why armatures are a pain? I mean, I feel like after this demo, it, it just makes people not want to do it, <laughs> which I know is um, not that helpful. But I, I do think there's value in watching videos of stuff that you may not even do yourself. Tell me in the chat, who here has watched any video anywhere that was some technique that you know, oh, I'll never do that technique. But if you got something from that, because you know something, I was really, really surprised that our dry point tutorial did so well. It's, it's like our best performing video in a really long time. And chances are a lot of people who watch that video are probably not going to do dry point. And so I was like, really? Wow, that, that's sort of cool that um, so many people were interested, even though they don't have a printmaking press and probably don't have the chance to do that. And I just thought that was so cool. Okay, good. Oh, nice. Okay. So now I can take the rest of the wire and I can wrap it around the tail. And then we're going to pinch, make sure that wire is in the right place. Okay, let's see. Is that it? I really want to put another piece of foam here. There's sort of empty space. I might do that later. But um, I'm just going to check it one more time. 
th this is definitely a little too long, but no problem. I can just snip that. That's not difficult. Potato, legs. You guys, I think it's done. That was so much work. <laughs> that took me way. I was like, oh, this isn't like the acrylic painting. It's not going to take as long. And of course, it takes just as long. <laughs> All right, everybody, I hope you will join me in the Discord for a brief chat so I can take some better photos and you can see the armature closer up. And remember, we have this wonderful Patreon group where you get to share your art in weekly voice sessions. It's a $20 monthly fee, and I provide a lot of critiques, tons of support in there that I do not provide in the public channels. And most of all, you get support in a small group of artists, people who really know each other, are invested in each other's progress. Our prof has services. We have artist calls, portfolio critiques, statement editing, and personal art curriculums. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.